On an absolutely freezing night here at the Barter Card Cuthbury Stadium, Wimborne, down, Wimborne Town went down to their second defeat in four days as they lost 4-1 to a very, very good Cinderford Town team who are uh, challenging, making a late run for the playoff positions. Jason Harville didn't recover from that late knock he took on Saturday and so Ben Field deputised in goal. The only other change for the Magpies, Franklin Clark moving back to take Tom Biles' place in the, in the defence and that allowed John Blake to step up and make his return. Uh, Tom Biles, Paul Rose, Jamie Davidson, Matt Kemble and Adam Costello made up the bench for the Magpies. Wimborne started well and on five minutes uh, could have taken the lead when Mark Gamble was put three down the inside left channel. He lifted the ball into the middle where it was taken on his chest by Luke Holmes and his volley went just over the bar. Then Griffin uh, had a right foot shot tipped over on 17 minutes and there were chances at both ends, probably Cinderford at this point just, uh, just edging the game. On 21 minutes, Cinderford really should have taken the lead. A short pass back put Ben Field in trouble, but when the ball broke to a Cinderford player, he uh, he poked it wide of the post with the goalkeeper not at home. Cinderford hit the bar in 26 minutes, but it was Wimborne who took the who took the lead on 37 minutes with uh, undoubtedly the goal of the game. Superb play by Luke Holmes in midfield, let it run across him and he, he beat a couple of players before playing a lovely little ball into Mark Gamble who dummied to let it go on to, uh, to Luke Stone and then made to shoot and then took a half step and planted a right foot shot past, past the keeper. A real cracking goal, one of the best we've seen at Cuthbury this season. But Wimborne couldn't hold on to that lead until half-time, 44 minutes, uh, a nice through ball put George Lloyd in and he uh, equalised with a good shot from a tight, an a tight angle. 1-1 one, one at half-time and really no more than the visitors deserved. Uh, an even match. Second half, Wimborne playing with uh, bitingly cold wind at their backs. Um, John Blake missed a chance to, to play Mark Gamble in when 50 minutes has passed, just being overhit and the wind was getting up at that point. Jamie Davidson came on for Luke Holmes uh, on, the, on the hour mark, but two minutes later it was the visitors who took the lead for the first time, Jack Cam scoring. And then there was just time for uh, Sam Griffin to, uh, to go close with a cross come shot before the Cinderford scored the decisive goal of the night. Two minutes later on 64 minutes, Bobby Dale, Bobby Dale getting his name on the sheet. Matt Campbell came on for Luke Stone on 76 minutes. Uh, but to their credit, Cinderford never won. And, and at this stage, it was a really good game with Wimborne, Wimborne playing much better than they'd played earlier in the game. But to Cinderford's credit, they weren't going back in defence and they looked as if they were trying to add to their lead. And that's precisely what they did when, in the 89th minute when a corner came over and there was skipper Kieran Thomas uh, alone and unchallenged in the penalty area to, 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 to rise and head the ball past Ben Field. There are times when you've just got to put your hand up and say you're beaten by a better team and this was one of them, Sunderford, one of the classier teams we've seen, we've seen uh, all season and um, well-behaved team as well. I'll pick out one incident in the second half um, when John Blake went in with a mistimed challenge on, on the touch line. Uh, the lad, um, I think, sorry, Ian Oliver, I think it was, I beg your pardon, Blakey. Ian Oliver went in with a mistimed challenge to, to, the, to the Cinderford lad's credit. He got up immediately and didn't make anything of it and uh, the referee issued a yellow card but uh, it, it could have been worse had, had, he, had he made more of it. Well done, Cinderford. They were on their toes the whole game, they were in our faces just as Stratford were on, on, on Saturday and uh, clearly a very good team. For, for me, Mark Gamble I thought had a, an excellent game up front for, for Wimborne and his goal was, was an absolute cracker. But uh, this, wasn't a, this wasn't a night when Wimborne shone, although how much of that was down to Cinderford is, is, is probably a moot point. Next up for the Magpies, we're away to Fleet Town on Saturday and then we're at home to Taunton Town on Easter Monday, kick-off 3pm. Hope to see you at one of those games. <laughs>